Hey there. Trying to make a sheath for this small parang that I created. So this is video number four. I am not a professional leather craftsman by any means. So this is one of those things just like my knife making where I'm just a hobbyist trying to figure things out as I go along. Never made a sheath out of leather prior to this attempt. So you guys can watch and learn along with me. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is if you're working with leather, you better have the right tools. I did buy a little kit for sewing and uh, I'll show you that later on in the video. But right off the bat, I know that uh, if you plan on doing a lot of leather work, you better get yourself the right knife. Um, cutting this thing out is a little bit tougher than what I thought it would be. I ended up cutting it out with a razor, um, but it was tough to cut. So. This is what we got so far. Just a piece of veggie tan leather. It's a little bit thicker than an eighth of an inch thick. Um, nice heavy piece of leather. Here's my razor blade that I was using to cut this pattern out. Um, so basically it's gonna fold over like this. Sorry about that bad video work. Gonna fold over like that it's gonna be a dangle style um, sheath so this piece is kind of short up here at the top if that was gonna be a belt loop that would have to be longer obviously but this is just gonna wrap around right here and have a little uh, steel dangle that I made out of a piece of stainless steel um, right here and then it'll have a belt loop attached to the other so side here's the progress on the sheath you can see up here I got it <laughs> A little bit wetter than the rest of it, but I just uh, stained this with some damp coffee grinds wrapped in a piece of fabric and rubbed it down with the coffee to try to get a natural coffee stain on it. This piece looks like this is going to be the belt loop, but this looks like it's a little bit darker. That's just because it's wetter. We'll have to see what it looks like as it dries. Um, that's not quite as dark as I want it, but I don't have a leather stain, so I decided to try and see what I could do with coffee. You can see right there. So let's look at my coffee stain as it's drying out, and it doesn't look very nice. That's not at all what I was trying to do. It did darken that uh, piece slightly, or change the color of it a little bit, but that's not really what I was trying to do with that. Um, I'm going to apply some oils and some other stuff to it. This is just a sample piece here that I just applied some coconut oil to and you can see what, what it did as far as darkening that piece up. But I'm working on the opposite side of this sheath right now. Um, I just wanted to show you what's going on. This flesh side of the leather was uh, pretty fuzzy. So I'm trying to uh, kind of knock that down and smooth it out some. This is a wax that I put on here and I'm treating it with this wax. This is what the uh, what it looked like before, pretty much all the way across this piece. Making a little bit of progress on this sheath, and there's a shot at uh, my first ever saddle stitch in leather crafting. I started from this way through to the inside, uh, trying to make the holes for this stitch. And <laughs> I'm gonna turn it over and show you how ugly it is on the other side. I didn't do so well keeping it in the right spot. I, did, I was trying to hold it with my hands and do it so I should have probably had it uh, glued first and then put the holes through and I failed to follow those steps exactly right so this doesn't have any glue on it underneath. Uh, so there's the stitching on the inside and you can see it's a little bit crooked or whatever. This is a little Leather kit that I ordered on Amazon. I'm gonna to try to find a link for that and leave it for you guys. See what it comes with some assorted needles. I actually broke the uh, eye on one of the needles yesterday. So, leave it to me, huh? Anyway, it comes with some assorted tools. Uh, some cheap skin daubers, four different threads. This is a little, uh, It, you know uh, where you can make the uh, stitch groove and you can set the distance from the edge by sliding this back and forth and then tightening it down so here's this product it's a combination of beeswax and orange oil this is actually meant for wood <laughs> but uh, I don't have a lot of finishing products for leather so I use this 
on the sheath. It's, uh, you can see a little bit variations in color. Um, just did it a couple moments ago, so it may still be absorbing a little bit. I'll probably put another coat on it and then try to buff it a little bit with a cloth. But you can see where I came from, from what this veggie tan looked like when I purchased it. Here's the contact cement I'm using. It's pretty sticky. It uh, has been applied to, you can see I left a little thick spot right there. Even that out anyway. Got a little extra along the edges. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, but applied to both surfaces and allowed to get a little bit tacky before you stick the two together. So I'm gonna glue the welt on one side of the sheath and then uh, let it dry a little bit and then I'll fold the sheath over and uh, get it all glued together and then we'll be ready to figure out how to start stitching this thing. So I'm ready to start stitching. I'll try to get some video of me using the uh, stitching pony that I made. Got a little sloppy right here with my groover but it'll be alright once I put the stitches in. That wheel that I showed you that I was going to mark these stitches with, it turns out the stitches were closer together than what I needed them to be or wanted them to be. I drilled these holes with the drill press and tried to make sure that we're coming out on the opposite side okay. There's a shot of the sheath mounted in that stitching pony that I made. There's a video coming soon for that. You just put the thing on the chair your legs over the base of the stitching pony to hold it down and it holds the piece right in front of you so you can work with both hands. I'm doing a basic saddle stitch. You just pull the thread through the first hole and get it to the center of the thread and then stitch from either direction with two needles pulling from each side through each stitch hole and then tightening it down and moving to the next stitch as you finish off the stitch, you just back stitch. I did three back stitches when I got to the other end and then cut off the remaining pieces of the thread. And there you have it, basic saddle stitch. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Check out this shot of the finished sheath here with the belt loop. It's a dangle style sheath dampen the sheath after it was stitched together and then pressed it around the blade to help form it to the blade and then treated it again with a little bit of oil and buffed it out. If you like please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all of you.